Hey guys, Craig Frost here for a, another Juicy Tuts tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how to burn photos or data to a data disk on a Mac quickly and easily, hopefully. I haven't done this for a while but I need to do it now so I thought I may as well show how to do it. Okay, so first of all I have the folder of files that I want to burn here. It's just a load of, there's 104 items in here, so it's just a load of pictures um, from a family christening. Okay, so this is what I want to burn onto the disk, so let me just close that. So it's here on my desktop, so I'm going to insert a DVD, you can do this with a CD as well. I'm just going to insert that into the disk drive of my computer, it'll take a while to come up but it will appear on the desktop and we should get a dialogue asking what we want to do. Um, so we'll just wait for that. Um, waiting for the disc. Do you like my singing? Okay, here it comes. Okay, what do we want to do? You can open in Finder, iDVD, iTunes. We want to just open it in Finder. Okay, so it appears on the desktop here. You can double click that and you can see it's got this warning thing here and it's a recordable DVD which is what we want so I've just opened that from the desktop like you would um, a hard drive or a pen drive or something like that flash drive so now I could drag this folder straight into the recordable DVD but I want the folder the files to be on the root of the DVD so I'm gonna select them all and then drag them over they should just go straight in there like that. And then it should just be as simple as clicking burn. So we'll click burn. Okay, we'll call it. I'll call it June 10th, 2012 because that's that's when this uh, event happened. And I should be able to just click burn and it should just chew through that. It will copy them to the disk and then write them, or I can hear it, you can probably hear that as well, it's starting up now. Okay, so we'll let this go on and I'll come back once this is almost completed. Okay, so I'm back, the uh, bar reached 100% and it's now gone to the state of finishing, which will probably take um, a couple more minutes, I would have thought. So I'm going to let this go on as well. Oh, and now it's verifying. It's verifying that all the files that were supposed to be copied over and burned are. So it's just checking that. We'll let this bar get over as well. So we're nearly there now. 97%, 98, 99, gone. What's next? Oh, it didn't get to 100. Oh. I was hoping to see a 100% there. But it says done. And everything disappeared. And now it's back again. So it's now here on my desktop. And I th believe if I double click this, here we go, we get a read only disk because it's a DVD minus R. So there's zero KB available. But all the pictures are on here. And it's even got the burn folder up here in case you want to put another disk in and burn the same thing again. So you can just click eject and the disk will pop out and it's already burned. So there it is, out of my computer. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, remember to rate, comment and subscribe if you want more of these videos or if you have an idea for a video you want to see. Uh, leave it in the comments or message us or tweet us at Juicy Tuts, which is twitter.com forward slash Juicy Tuts. Um, I'm Craig Frost. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.